target spot is a potentially devastating leaf spot disease of tobacco that begins as the tobacco canopy forms. The closed, dense canopy creates an ideal environment for the infection, growth, and reproduction of the target spot fungus and for the development of the characteristic target-like spots that can result in major losses to growers. Target spot typically starts during warm rainy periods in June. The fungus produces spores on the soil surface that blow up onto leaves and cause small circular spots called primary lesions. Some of the primary lesions expand rapidly as the fungus grows through the leaf, giving the characteristic target appearance to the spots. Not all primary lesions expand into large target spots, but even when they do, the characteristic small primary lesion remains visible. On a fully expanded leaf, numerous infections may occur. Some, or perhaps even most of these lesions, will not expand. But those that do can result in significant leaf damage. Note the characteristic tearing of the dead tissue, leaving holes in the leaf. On leaves low in nitrogen, target spot lesions can get very large and have a distinct halo. The dead tissue that falls to the ground can provide the pathogen a place to survive until the next tobacco crop. As the epidemic progresses and warm rainy conditions continue, disease becomes severe. The pathogen reproduces on the underside of leaves and spores are dispersed to start the next generation of disease. The epidemic that began with spores blowing from the soil onto the lower leaves is now moving up the plant. The spores that are produced on infected leaves will continue to produce new cycles of infection, each looking like the generation before, until target spots occur throughout the canopy. Target spot epidemics can result in devastating losses in the absence of controls. So management practices must be employed to minimize losses.